Hi, I want to show you the workflow of Motion Blur in the free Fusion version. I have created a motion vector path from Cinema 4D and it's a bit tricky to use it in Fusion. First I have imported uh, the beauty path and the motion vector path. If I drag the node in the window then I see the result of the node. And as you can see, it's very dark. So if you are in linear workspace and want to show the normalized view, then you can use a gamut node, not gamma, gamut node. And there you select sRGB for source and output space. Upala. And then you connect it with your source and uh, dependent on the path sometimes it makes sense to deactivate this here and you see it in the brightness you want. Now if I want to use a motion vector path then I will create motion vector blur node and connect it to my gamut. If I click with the right mouse button on the red here and drag it to this node, I have a select menu and I select the input. And if I do the same with the motion vector pass, then I use the vector input. Now I drag this node in the view and if I scale the motion blur. Sometimes it needs to be very high. Uh, let me say 100. Upala. Then I should see the result. No, I don't see anything because I have to say which of the color is the x and the y value. And usually the x value is red and the green value is Y. So and now you see it's everything blurred but that's not good because the figure here is still and shouldn't be blurred and this is the problem with the motion vector pass native from cinema. It's very good if you use plugins like Real Smart Motion Blur but it's a bit tricky if you use compositing tools as Fusion or Nuke. I asked a question in this very nice forum and get an answer how to do that. So you have to change the color information that they fit with the desires of Fusion and you do that with the custom node or custom tool. You add this one and you see here several informations you can change. In this case you go to channels and put in the red and green which is representing the colors of the motion vector pass. The following expression, don't ask me what's behind that, I copied and pasted it and then you can th see the difference in the color spaces. In this case there is nothing to see and now you can see um, everything which is static is keyed out and only the moving parts which are more green or red than the background here are shown. And this is very good for the motion vectors and you see only the platonic ones here are blurred and the figure which is standing still is not blurred. And sometimes, as I said, you have to put or increase the scale very much to see a result. If you are in the default mode of one, you see not anything, depending on the motion. But here, even if you have fast motion which is represented in green you see nothing so you have to increase the value. So the problem is to remember this expression but you can do the following you right click on a node and go to settings save as and then save 
a name. So, for example, if I enter an other custom tool in an other project later, I see here everything is empty or the preset values and if I right click on it, settings, load, then I can load the custom motion blur settings. Here I saved the gamut which I showed you before, the values too. So I click here, look here, and now the expressions are integrated and I don't have to type them manually.